Libra, this is going to be your reading for February. So whenever you find this reading, it's for you, it's timeless, but it is the month of love, amore. And so we are here, we are in it. I am here for you guys. This is what I do. And so I'm not gonna leave you high and dry. I'm gonna get all of your readings out before Valentine's Day. And right now, all of my readings are half off. So you wanna book a reading with me, now is the time, all right? I My schedule is opening up but it's booking really fast. So make sure if you wanna get your reading in before Valentine's Day, you have to start booking because I'm gonna have a waiting list really soon, okay? All right, and I got my John Benny merch. For those of you that know John Benny, he has beautiful, beautiful merch. You can, you can get the merch on his um, YouTube channel or you know, on, I think he might have a link on his Instagram. So anyways, I'm in love with this shirt. I'm in love with this shirt. Okay, so Libra, let's go ahead and jump right in. We're going to do the same order that we did for Virgo. We are going to do three of the Boti tarot cards for you, my little heart-shaped ones. I hope you're feeling all the love that's in the air, my beautiful Libras. Ooh. Oh, gracious, Libra. Let's see. Can we get two more for Libra? I already cleared your space with my bells, so we're starting brand new. Ooh, I love it. I love when those two cards come out together. And for so many of the signs, you guys have been getting these, this same message. I feel like a lot of you will be coming into union. And just so you know, all of my readings are timeless. I am a twin soul reader. I am not a soulmate reader. I only read for twin flames. So we are picking up where you are at on your journey, Libra. And if you found me, then you are a twin soul. There's no twin soul, twin flame, whatever you want to call it. You, you know, definitely do not doubt it because that's what I am. All right. Okay. It says, your love life has been complicated and all for very good reason. You must learn these lessons to attract the love that you deserve. So you're working on all of these lessons, Libra, because Spirit is fine-tuning you. They're, they're, um, they're making you super sweet like wine, okay? And all of these things are happening for your greatest good, okay? Because you know that you deserve the best in life we all do my beautiful libras but you especially because you have been through so much in the love department and spirit knows that and they see it and all of these false flames and all of these things that you have been through are just to refine you and turn you into the diamond because your person is a diamond believe me your person's a gem their energy feels absolutely delicious all right. It says new connections and new relationships that are more aligned to you are entering your life. So you are getting into alignment for that twin flame. You are getting into alignment. You're there. New connections, new relationships that are more aligned to who you are now. Okay. Maybe the Libra that you were in the past is not who you are now. You've been refined. Okay, it says the love that you're showing yourself is reflecting back to you in your relationships. Be aware of how you treat yourself. So if people are treating you amazing, then it's because you're treating yourself amazing. If people are treating you not so good, then that would be your indication that it's time to change the way you are treating and loving yourself, Libra, because everyone is our mirror. Everyone mirrors back how we feel about ourselves, okay? Now, there's that little ladybug that was in my hair, just chilling. <laughs> All right, it's Libra. What do we have for Libra? Libra. Libra. Libra, what do we got for Libra? <laughs> now he's going to try to get on my Bodhi tarot cards. No, no, no. Well, let's see what we got here. Libra, can we get two cards for Libra, please? 
Why is this deck so sticky right now? I mean, it's not literally sticky, but it's like sticking together. So good morning or good night, depending on where you are in the world. It is almost 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time where I am at. Libra, please. What do we got for our beautiful Libras? The scales. Woo! We have release your ex. The time has come for you to clear your energy. Oof. And we have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Can we get one more, please? So, you, your energy is cray cray. I, your cards are just running out. Okay, so we have release your ex. It's time to, the time has come to clear your energy. So, this will be different for all of you. Um, for some of you, you're literally still with your ex. Some of you may be living together. Some of you may be somehow still entangled. I hope at this point that you guys are not still sleeping with your exes. Like, I hope at this point you know <laughs> that that's a no-no. Like, hopefully you've grown and enough to know that, like, people that you sleep with are going to entangle in your energy and that's going to mess with your energy field which is going to mess with your twin souls energy field and it's just a whole um sticky pickle <laughs> that we don't want to talk about because it's just you know it's just a whole can of worms that we don't want to open so hopefully by now you've already learned that lesson you're not there <laughs> If you haven't, I'm telling you right now, that is not the right thing to do. <laughs> okay? Um, so they do want you to release your ex. They want you to move that, to, to push that energy to the side and to move forward because you cannot, your twin soul absolutely cannot come in with past energy still in your aura. So do some cutting of cords or stop sleeping with them or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, cut some cords, clear your energy field. All right, flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Okay. And we have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. Now, this is talking about your twin soul. Okay. So they want you to do some flirting. They want you to put yourself out there. For some of you, if you don't know who your twin soul is, then, you know, the spirit is saying flirt. Flirt, you know, maybe you'll stumble upon your person just doing what you do naturally, Libra, which is being a beautiful, fun flirt. One second. Okay. Sorry about that, Libra. It was just 808. So that will probably resonate with someone. All right. We're going on to your love oracle, and then we're going to do the dragon tarot. And we will end with the roomy oracle, which is what I've been doing for all the signs. And I have my huge rose quartz. See that in the light? Wow, look at the way that catches the sun. That's amazing. Um, for, you know, because it's season of love. And I am a love reader. So. All right, what do we got for Libra? What's the matter, honey? Oh, I'm sorry. What'd you hit it on? Libra. Huh? In the bedroom? Yeah, for Libra. Look at that. We got the scales. Okay, hold on. Okay, Libra, sorry about that. My little one got an owie. Okay. What do we got for Libra? Three cards for Libra. Ooh, see, definitely. We have some unfinished business here. You need to let go of your ex. <laughs> they just keep shouting it at you. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, Libra. Spirit would, is only going to stress it if it's really, really important. This could be unfinished business with your with your twin soul too, though. But, um, you know, we have unfinished business. So... Take it wherever it fits in with your story. If you know that you're still hanging on to an ex or you're hanging on to someone 
Look at that light. I love that the sun. If you know that you're still hanging on to your ex's energy, then apply that where it fits in. Spirit is saying it's time to stop it. Okay. Now this, for some of you, this is unfinished, un, I can't talk, unfinished business with your twin soul because right after that we have text message and party. So I feel like for some of you, you might be out with some friends and you're going to get that text, like that one where you're just like, oh my gosh, and your heart stops beating <laughs> because you read it and you're like, what the frick? right because you're not expecting it and it's it's from your person and and you're gonna know because you for some of you you already know who your person is you already know and so when you get that text it's gonna be like oh my gosh like and you know you're not gonna be expecting it so that's for someone that that's for i feel like that's not gonna resonate with everyone but for those of you who know who your person is it's definitely gonna be shocking okay and for those of you that don't know who your twin soul is, you might probably meet them at a party, okay? And then they're going to come up and ask if they can text you or call you or whatever. And it's going to start like that. So it's going to be different for all of you. But those are the two stories that I'm picking up on. All right, we're going to go ahead and move on to the Dragon Tarot for Libra. And you know, it's funny when I was splitting the deck, I, I got that legal matter card. So for some of you, you know, you might be going through a divorce and that's why maybe you haven't met your twin soul yet. But I feel like if you're going through a divorce and you are in the process of releasing your ex, that you will very soon meet your twin soul. So, you know, spirit is telling you all this stuff for a reason. They're not just going to, you know, shoot smoke up your ass. All right. I believe in what I do and I believe in the messages that I give. All right. So we need, whoa. <laughs> Three cards for Libra and the Dragon Tarot, please. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. My hair is getting caught in the cards. And then we're going to end with the Roommate Oracle. 1223 on my phone, camera. I do have my light on so that you guys can see. And now the sun is just streaming across my face. It's beautiful. I don't even know how it's doing that. Like, where is it even coming from? Here? I don't know. It's strange. I think it's reflecting off that window over there. I swear, like, nothing wants to come out. Temperance. That has to do with... That's very Libra and energy. It's very, like... You know, having to be patient, it's balancing things out with the scales, it's alchemy. And it's funny, there's the dragon, this is my watcher card. There's your divine masculine or divine feminine spying on you, though it is a divine feminine in the card. And so I feel like for a lot of you divine feminines, your divine masculine is indeed spying and watching on you, watching you. And why do I feel like you guys are really, really ready to give up? I don't think that you should. I know it's been a long, hard journey. Page of Pentacles. See, there we, we have the energy of spying again. The pages for me are always about spying. Spying, trying to learn more about you. Okay? This is the page... For me, they're always about spying. It's spying, spying. But this page is also about learning. So, you know, I feel like your person is watching you. And especially when these two cards come out together. To, for me, it's always your person is watching you. Look, watching the divine feminine. There's the divine masculine or, you know, the dragon. Um, the page, page energy, watching, spying watching spying trying to learn more about you it's really funny though but i don't feel like they're ready to make a move like it feels <laughs> with the nine of wands in between it feels like they almost don't know how to approach there's almost this energy of like 
wanting to give up and I don't know feeling I want to say inadequate so I'm gonna read this and see Yeah, so see, being tested to the limits of patience and ability. So, I mean, yeah, it, feel, it feels like they're... It's almost like both of you are at this point where you... Look at that light. It's so crazy. It's so bright. It's coming from that window over there. I'm sorry. So it feels like both of you guys are literally at this point where you feel like you've reached your limits of patience. Hold on just a little bit longer because good things are coming in regards to your union. Um, this is also the card of success. So it's right around the corner. Um, I feel like for those of you that are waiting on a divine masculine, they need to work up the courage. They've been watching and spying for a really long time and they'll get there. And now for the divine feminines, um, spirit wants you to focus on yourself. They want you to, um, take some time to learn new things. That's also the page energy. Um, and don't give up. Most importantly, not not to give up. Um, even though it's it's been a really long, hard journey. Um, you know, your person is, is going to be here sooner than you think. I'm just going to say that, okay? <laughs> I feel the energy of their impatience. So they feel like... For some of you, you're definitely dealing with a fire sign because I can feel like the impatient energy, like they are getting really antsy, especially because they're watching you. They want to just come forward, but there's something holding them back. And to me, it feels like they might be a little bit insecure. So you might want to work on your energy. If you're feeling insecure, find ways to love yourself because your twin will always mirror how you're feeling. So just keep that in mind. Show yourself some extra love this February. Okay. All right. What is the last card we have for Alicia, please? Ah. And for some of you, possibly, I feel like you might be dealing with the same um, gender. So if that applies to you, put it where it fits. Okay. Last card for Libra. Woo, beautiful. We have Arise. Arise. Look at that. Spirit says it's time to rise up. And for some of you, look, you've had some, I can feel it, the energy of uh, um, lifetimes and teams on the angelic realm. Okay. You've had life's life. You've had lives in the angelic realm, or you have a, you have a team of angelic beings that help you all the time in your journey hold on I need a water break 1818 okay it was just 1818 see so I do know what I'm talking about that light is crazy look at them light codes okay wings of love wings I'm sorry well for some of you it's wings of love it says wings of hope but you know I don't always just slip up like that and that light <laughs> I have to move Wings of hope languish from lack of use. When wings dissipates and weaken, life begins to lose its value. Every cell in your body is created to rise to challenges. Your life is meant to confront everything that holds you captive. Don't sit at the bottom of the well not caring about salvation. Listen to the voice within calling to you. Reach for eminence beyond your own maturity. Time to rise up, my beautiful Libras. I dance before you in sacred spectacle, hoping to garner your attention. Look at me, I cry to your alien spirits, to your alien spirits and despondent flesh. Look at me. If you were to look up, you would see that I am a mirror of your own being your light, your heart, your spirit, your all. Yes, and I just spit my cheek. Yes, there is pain. Yes, there is a letting go taking place and you are frightened and uncertain sometimes. But you make this mean something that it does not. 
It means you are to turn your head away from what is dying. Do this gently but firmly. Turn your head towards what is living. Look at me. I will show you truth and you shall laugh your deepest belly laughter with so much glee, sharing in my secret that the only force at work in your life is unconditionally loving divinity. I see in you a divine wild child and sacred heart. You have gumption, chutzpa, guts. You dare to love where others only see pain. You dare to believe that everything will somehow work out where others see only what they judge to be wrong. You see love where others ply fear. You seek freedom where the world still buys into manipulation and propaganda. Don't lose heart, beloved wild child. Dare to believe. That is freaking amazing, Libra. I love it so much. I love it. I love it. All right, we're going to end with that. You are a wild child, and I love you, Libra. All right, that light is incredible. Okay, um, if you would like to book a reading with me, all of my readings are half off. And it is for the season of love, February. So you can go in the description box below my video and click that little ton A R on the right and everything will pop up. You know, it's where the transcripts and all that are. And you can see all my current prices. Everything is half off. Every reading is half off. Even my tarot parties are half off. So book it while you can. I'm booking up really fast. So make sure you get your reading in before February 14th if you want it. Okay. Because I'm already got a waiting list coming up. So please get your reading in if you want it soon. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all we had to talk about. I love you, Libra.